Hi, this is my Lenovo Legion 5i laptop. Uh, you've seen another video, I'll link it in up here and down below. If you haven't seen it, I did like an unboxing video and a brief um, teardown of it. And, well, that teardown might come in handy. I don't remember how to do it. Anyway, it is a 17-inch, uh, none of that 15-inch uh, rubbish. And, uh, yeah, it runs Windows, none of that Linux rubbish either. And um, it's a Ryzen uh, 7, can't remember exactly what variation whatever um and it's got an nvidia uh, rtx 2060 video card well for those playing along at home there it is there's the uh, cpu z it's uh, amd ryzen 7 mobile 4800 h uh oh, did that drop at 0.4 volts 0.4 volts what the hell can you do at 0.4 volts? Anyway, it's got the RTX uh, 2060 video in it. Anyway, very nice laptop. No, I don't do any of that gaming kitty rubbish on it. Um, it's yeah, it's just mainly for my main uh, machine at home, and if I take it on the road, um, then I can do uh, video editing on it as well. Um, now, it's a great machine, but the problem is I had to buy it from the old Dart. So it's got this weird ass bloody pommy keyboard on it and look I mean look at this <laughs> right where's the at symbol up here and down around the enter key here it's got the full height enter key uh, like this and backspace is normally uh, here and then it's got the the hash here and uh, like everything's weird so yeah this weird ass pommy layout but unfortunately um, this machine with the specs I wanted at the time it was only available um, in the old dart. So yeah, I had to get it from the UK and it's been a the keyboard's been a pain in the ass I'm just not used to it. So um, I thought I'd actually upgrade uh, the keyboard and sure enough a, Like you can buy the replacement keyboards for these. There's actually a, like quite a lot of selection uh, on the market and Let's let's take the enter key here. For example, you see how it's got that uh, like large cutout like that and uh, then the separate key um, sort of like embedded in there for the hash. Well, this one actually has, check it out, there it is, the uh, full width enter key like that for all your HP fan what boys, the full width enter key. And then the backslash on top of that with like a little uh, sort of like, uh, not a cutout thing, but a little uh, in like protrusion thing that comes out that actually, um, so when you replace the same outer, there's no part of the, uh, you know, the plastic case, the top case actually going across there. So it's got to fill it in with that. So it should just in theory, um, a drop into be an existing drop in replacement um, for this keyboard. That's the plan anyway, and it was super cheap. It was only like uh, 30 bucks Aussie delivered. Um, it, you know, it took a couple of weeks to get here, but no, no worries. Um, I don't know. I assume these are like uh, genuine, but yeah, apparently they come in like all different backlighting. This one does have backlighting. Um, it, there's apparently a version with an RGB uh, backlight, but mine's just the white one. Uh, keyboards. Uh, you probably can buy it direct from Levo, Lenovo or whatever. But anyway, there were just tons of these available on the market. So I thought I'd give it a try. And uh, so let's open this thing up and see how easy it is to replace this. Hopefully, um, very easy. And uh, yeah, I don't know, like these um, screws. It's got holes all over it like this. So I don't know if like, I presume maybe they're just like screw holes for like each... Like, maybe I have to take out 100 screws. I'm not sure. I can't remember the teardown. So, let's get into it. And I was going to use my, um, what is it? ES-15 uh, electric um, screwdriver thing. One of these E-Design uh, things. But I bloody well, as predicted, as predicted in my own review, short review video for this in the mailbag, I cannot figure out how to use the bloody menu system again. I cannot remember how to do it. Stupid. Load of garbage. Do it the old-fashioned way. Bloody electric screwdrivers. What a load of garbage they are. Unbelievable. Like, I just want my electric screwdriver to do one task. That's it. Undo screws. Like, I don't want that. Like, and no, it's not in that automatic mode. It's in manual mode where it only goes in one direction. You know, it's normally got that, like, it detects your wrist bloody movement. Well, you know, I've got a bloody movement for it. By the time you fart ass around with that stupid electric screwdriver, you've got the damn thing open. Crack along the top like that. Our spudger, and uh, I can't remember like if the kit. No, yeah, I think yeah, the back comes off. I can't remember how to get at the keyboard. We might actually have to take out like all the processor and 
everything. Um, it, it could be really nasty. I don't know. Is there <laughs> maybe if there's like a service guide or something, I should probably probably read it. So there you go. We're in like Flynn, and there's the uh, back of it for those nickel screening uh, fanboys. So there you go. There's an awful lot of awful lot of screening on that, isn't it? Wow. Got no puffy battery after this time. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, the fan is a bit dusty. That's gonna have to take that out to the uh, stairwell and give that a good blowjob. First up, though, um, you can likely see the problem. Um, keyboard under here. <laughs> keyboard under all of this. Uh, yeah, this is not good, is it? Yeah. Maybe I should have looked at my own uh, teardown before I ordered that keyboard because I don't see a way that unless this top plastic can come off, this top plastic plate, um, then I'm in, I'm in serious trouble. Nope, unfortunately it looks like all of this has to come out because this is the plastic. Um, this is actually the top part of the plastic case. There's no there's no way that comes out, so the keyboard lifts out from the bottom. So that's one piss poor design, isn't it? Um, damn. Ugh. Maybe it's not as hard as it looks, but if you just got to do it like once, just to just to replace the keyboard, it's like you know, like like what screws come out where, in what order, kind of you know, a thing. Do I just take absolutely everything apart and then just all goes flop? Or, there is, or are there only like, you know, five screws holding this whole thing in and, you know, and then all the motherboard and everything just comes off with it? Like, you know, like, uh, unless you've got like a proper service guide saying, you know, or big arrows here saying, you know, remove this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and you're done, and it all just lifts out. You've got to, like, oh, you've got to spend ages just looking at it and then guessing and I don't know, taking them off one by one and giving it a wiggle 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 yeah Ugh. well I'll tell you what I'm starting to take some screws out and I'm debating whether or not this is a good idea at all because I'm looking at things like these heat stakes look these are heat stakes down here there's there's a whole bunch of them right I don't know how many more I'm going to find and I don't know whether or not um, like, I presume this is, like, the metal backing for the keyboard, right? Because the keyboard's in this, um, upper part of it here. Um, so what happens when I get all that out? Look, look, here they all are here, look. All of these heat stakes, right? What's, what's the deal with all of these heat stakes? Do I have to drill them all out? And what happens if I do? Like, is, is this even a thing that's possible? I mean, you know, it, obviously anything's possible, given enough effort, but... I'm tempted to actually, at the moment, sort of like just upload this video and actually ask, has anyone actually done this and how much time and effort is involved and are there any issues with like heat stakes? I think some, I put it on uh, Twitter and uh, yeah, somebody's mentioned, um, you know, uh, something about, you know, stuff like that. So I like, <sighs> it's, it's not looking good. It is not looking good, is all I can say. Um, yeah, I don't know. Should I, like, uh, attempt to just update this video and upload this video and please leave it in the comments down below.